We are in Indonesia visiting one of the Compassion Projects, and man, this has been quite a day, quite honestly. Like, I'm calling this the Tour of Tears, because we got here and it was, it's not sad, it's actually emotional and moving and beautiful. Like, like I looked over at one time and Marty was just a mess. What happened with you? Um, this morning, actually, I really didn't want to come. Why? I just so emotionally drained and I thought I cannot do this again today and we pulled up and there's all these beautiful little children lined up greeting us with little signs and pom-poms and that got me and then as we're walking up to their church you hear this voice singing and I was so overwhelmed and truly just thought okay I'm hearing angels sing and it just I think I held it together, but maybe No, you I didn't. Did. For the record, you no. did not hold it together. She didn't hold it together, no. did she? <laughs> now, Haley I, has done a good job at holding it together. Haley, it's interesting because she... Did you see her not cry? Today. Yeah. Not today. Did you cry today? Oh, yeah. Okay. Especially with that little girl. What, what little girl? The one that was uh, sitting there, in the row with me? There was a girl behind me, and she was... It was one of the songs, and she was praying, and she's just sobbing like tears of joy with how much she loved Jesus, and I lost it. Yeah, okay, well, let's go. You know what? I'm glad you did because you cried, your mother cried, I obviously have cried. Zach and Katie, still nothing. No tears, and uh, it, was, it was just an emotional day. But the thing that I've really liked, though, is seeing you, uh, Haley, is that you have seen all the joy in this, where a lot of times as adults we see the poverty and we feel bad because we know the parents' struggles and this, that, and the other. But you've just connected with these kids on a kid level and have just enjoyed the moment. Like, what's been your favorite part today? Today, I just loved all these little kids following me. Like, wherever I go, they'd mob around me and just be, like, hugging me and, like, wanting to touch me and take pictures. And it's just so cute to see their joy and their smiles on their faces. Like, so It's cute. been a good day and a, and a phenomenal trip. And the, the thing is, these kids still need our help. You know, and, and they are doing well in the happy arena. That's what's great. But it's the other things that they need, the education. That's how they change their lives. And we talked to uh, kids today and families today that they were like praying that their kids would be sponsored so that they would have the encouragement from the sponsor. That was almost more important to this one mom than the money. That's the craziest thing. She was like, I want him, and she said over and over again, I, I want him to have a sponsor that will encourage him to be a, a man of God. And that's one of the things you do when you sponsor one of our kids here in Indonesia. So the reason we tell you these stories is that hopefully it'll move your heart to sponsor one of these kids in Indonesia. We called it our 4-1 project because we realize we can't solve the problem of poverty for everyone, but we can solve it for one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. These kids' lives have been changed because somebody sponsored them. But outside of these gates, this oasis, there are a bunch of other ones that still need our help. And it's so easy to do and it doesn't cost a lot of money. But the investment that you have and you, you make in these kids will last a lifetime for them.